stretching out his neck there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the House of Time. Once again, I am your host, G-Time. And I'm Nick of Time. This is um, Nichols and May. This is an old comedy duel set back in the day. Um, I think like in the 60s, I believe. 50s, 60s, something like that. I got to do some more research on them. But this is one of the Nichols May classics. It's the mother and son skit. Let's see what we got. <laughs> so losing them. <laughs> to this Mother, day. I don't lose them. I nearly went out of my mind. Honey, listen, I want I thought, what if they're taking it out of his pay? All right. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, Mom, thanks for calling. <laughs> You're very sarcastic. Mother, I am doing my best here. Now, you call. I tried to explain to you that I was busy. You I, 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 I don't hit me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I bothered you when you were so busy. Believe me, I won't be around to bother you much longer. <laughs> and listen, I hope I didn't make you feel bad. Are you kidding? I feel awful. Oh, honey, if I could believe that, I'd be the happiest mother. <laughs> well, mother, what do you think? I feel rotten. Oh, then, Arthur, honey, why don't you call me? Honey, you know, I know that I nag you. You got a nagging mother. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to be so old that rings true today i used to think there weren't people like that because like i never met anyone like that but the more and more people i meet there has to be someone out there like that oh yeah yeah because my mother said that to me and she's black <laughs> <laughs> she said one day when you grow up you're gonna have kids of your own and i hope they treat you the same way you treat me she said that same thing man <laughs> she would call me when i was in the military Wondering what was going on. You can't call me? Ma, I'm in the desert. When I get a chance, I'll call you. That's why I'm calling you now. <laughs> I mean, it's back with the payphone days, you know. There wasn't no cell phone. You know, until I got to get off the phone. She's like, you tell them to wait. You tell them you talk to your mother. See, I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> Today, you have no excuse. But back in the, back in the day, oh, yeah. you can only really call when you had the chance. Right, right. I mean, you can't a big telephone with you. <laughs> He ain't handling that back then, but yeah, that that was a that was a skit. That that I like that man. That's pretty good, man. Kudos to that there, man. <laughs> we gotta look at some more nickels in May, and um, in the future, man. So you enjoyed that, man? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I enjoyed it as well. That's timeless comedy, folks. Timeless comedy. That same skit, you could take two people, modernize it, do the same things, and it'll still be funny today. You throw in what's going on today. Instead of house phones, could be cell phones now. Oh man, nah, I never even heard of them, man. That's how that's how how comedy is, man. It's all over. If you look out there or you reach out, that's why you know I want to thank you for turning us on to Nichols and May, cause uh, hey man, that's how you learn by asking, taking advice of others, and then you pass on to someone else. You got anything else, man? Again, you don't have anything else. <clears throat> the wheels of comedy is turning in his head. He's not looking up at the spackle <laughs> anymore. We'll see you next time from the House of Time. This is G-Time. And I'm Nick of Time. And we are out.